Hi, it's Sean here asking you if you want to be irresistible to your most resistant clients. Hi, I'm here to talk about um, our webinar on April the 4th and you'll be able to sign up. There'll be a link around this box to sign up. And it's about how Milton Erickson used the principle of resistance to help his clients change. Now, we all know that Milton Erickson would use ambiguous language, would use optionality, or would steal no's from his clients to defuse their resistance to change. But did you know that he actually encouraged his clients to be as resistant as possible? Now, why is that? Well, first of all, Resistance can be a resource. Let's say you've got a client who wants to stop smoking. They have to be able to resist the cigarettes. So resistance is a real resource, but not only that, it's a necessary and vital part of the change process. If you don't allow your clients, and indeed encourage your clients to be resistant, then it's gonna be actually more difficult for them to change. In fact, if they didn't have a sense of resistance, they wouldn't need your help at all. So if you want to really learn about resistance in the Ericksonian model, sign up for the webinar, click the link, it's somewhere above me or to the side of me, and join me on April the 4th for an engrossing free webinar on the topic of resistance. See you then.